Hello friends, today we discuss functional overloading and functional overriding. In this video, first we discuss what is overloading and overriding. Then we see UML diagram for overloading and overriding. Then we implement this figure in C++ and discuss about the next video. Function overloading. When we provide multiple definition of the function by changing the prototype or signature, we say it's overloading, means changing number of parameters or changing data type of the parameters. Return type will not play any role in overloading. Overloading can be done in same class or can be inside the child class. Overloading comes under compile time polymorphism, also called early or static mining. Overriding. When we redefine pairing class function inside the child class with same prototype or signature, that is the same function name, same parameters and same return type. Now it comes into runtime polymorphism, also known as dynamic or lead binding. That means we can apply a virtual function with overridden functions. UML diagram that I am going to implement. First I design a class A having two show functions. In first, there is no parameter, but in second, we have a parameter, so it's overloading. Then I create class B, which is the child of class A. Again, I define show function. Now, this and this function have same prototype, so it is overriding. Finally, I create a show function with parameter double x, so it is not matching with any of these, so this is overloading. In main program, I will create two objects, object 1 of class A, object 2 of class B, and then I will call these functions. Now, since A is object of class 1, these two functions will get executed. Similarly, object 2 is of B, so these two functions will get executed. Now, I am implementing this code. You can use code blocks or turbo C++ to implement it. So first we have to create class A with two functions. First is show, which says A show. Then we have to create one more function. So this is overloading. Again, I have to create class B, which inherits class A. So class B inherits A. Again, show function, but it says B show. So this is overriding. Here, we are saying double B. And here, I'm changing it to double x main program and we to create two objects object one object two and call show function Fine. similarly object two dot show object two dot show five point five Again, compile and run it. We are getting A show, A show int, B show, B show double. In next video, I will discuss pointer to object, virtual function, runtime polymorphism, as well as abstract class and pure virtual function. So, thanks for watching the video.